Tiglet and Pigger Switcheroo. <laughs> and now I, the great Rudini, will magically find the card you picked. Is this your card? Nope. The amazing. <laughs> and now, <laughs> will my trusty assistant please bring out the magic barrels? Wonderful. How about you, Piglet? Mm me? Pigaletto! <laughs> well, I didn't think you were the volunteer or in type. <laughs> oh, oh, Piglet. <laughs> Tigger, will you climb into this barrel? And Piglet, will you climb into this barrel? <laughs> you betcha. Why? I am going to magically make Tigger and Piglet switch barrels. Tigger, who's in this barrel? Didn't work. <sighs> the show's over, everyone. Thanks for coming. I'm Tiggerish myself, uh, per se. Did Tigger just say, oh, da da dear? Did Piglet just say, per se? Like, birds are eating! Who <laughs> <laughs> this is really weird. It's like Tigger is now Piglet. And Piglet is now... Uh, somebody say problem? Ha! Well, fret not, amigos. Be it problems or trouble, the super sleuths will be there on the double! It's okay, Tigger. You can stay out here while I slap my cap. Now let's quit loafing and get to oafing! Anytime? It's weird calling Piglet Piglet when he's really Tigger. Perhaps we should call him... Pigger? And uh, since Tigger is now Piglet... trick kind of did work. Of course it did, bouncing buddy! Mm, on account of you're the most figurific magician in the whole hundred acres. Oh, my. Uh, such... The thing is, I'm not sure how to switch them back. I don't even know how I did what I did. Perhaps we should... Think, think, think? <laughs> Genius... Okay. Ru put Tigger and Piglet inside the barrels, then said some magic words. So maybe if they went back in the barrels... Gave the barrels to Beaver. He wanted to use the wood to build his new dam. Oh, no! Come on, everyone. We have to stop Beaver before he breaks the barrels apart. <laughs> we really need both barrels, Beaver. It's the only way to get Tiglet and Picker back to their old selves. I see. Who's Tiglet and Picker? Hey, they are, you know. There's nothing that I'd rather than find acorns to gather and share with my best friend. <laughs> right. Uh, take the barrel, why don't you? <laughs> Seems like you need it more than I do. Ooh. Going, long ears. Plant up a cake and some veggie tables? Wait, stop. What are you doing? Uh, piglet? The name's Pigger, rather. <laughs> I'm using it as a trap. <laughs> You see, I've had vegetables missing from my garden, and, um, I suspect woozles. W w w woozles? Oh, m m m sounds like a very angry woozle. We need a plan. Uh, anybody got one? I'll de barrelize that woozle, for my name isn't... Bigger? Yeah, well, <laughs> wasn't nothing. We really need to get the sparrow back to Rue. Thanks, Rabbit. Abracadabra! Did it work? <laughs> How's it going there, pal of mine? Bright, sunny morning. It was in the morning. And that's the whole story. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying that I got... Timba! <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Absolutely tiggerish. Or maybe I ought to say piggerish. <laughs> and you did that all on your own, Piglet, without any magic. You I can say that that is. Oh, did it, dear? That's you, buddy. <laughs> you too. Lumpy spends the night. Lumpy, time to come in.
Dinner's ready. Are you going to roost for dinner, Lumpy? Not just dinner. I'm spending the whole night. We're having a sleepover. <laughs> Hi, Boots. <laughs> Even if the any time is a little later than usual. Huh, Rose House. Thanks for coming. Rue was sure you'd be able to help, but I'm here too if you need me. So, what's the big to do, anywho, Rue? It's the Super Sleuths. Hi, Lumpy. Having fun? Yes, but I just missed my own bed a little. I brought somebody else with me Billy Boo. Who's Billy Boo? Billy Boo is my stuffed monkey. I'll tell you a secret, Lumpy. I still have Billy Boo. I take him to maybe Alvin's in there too. Great idea, Rue. Where's the sleepover bag? It's in the backyard. The backyard? What? Alvin, anywhere? Mm. Well, I can't see much of anything. It's just an Alvin. What? <sighs> No, Tigger, try again. Whew. I've been on a case before, but never in one. <gasps> I give up. What about it? Every night, my mommy shows me my picture book before I fall asleep. We won't let morning catch us just yet, Christopher laughed. Set a course for the last star in the sky. And with that, <sighs> the ship turned away from the rising oh, sun yeah. and sailed off. To I was talking to Lumpy. I think so. I'll try. <laughs> Mummy always puts it next to my bed and turns it on before I go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Darby. Sometimes Mummy turns it on and off for me. Will you turn it off now, please? <sighs> On my room. Sometimes my Mummy sings me a song. A lullaby? That's a great idea. Here's one. I hide like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what. Twinkle, twinkle, little lump. Go to sleep, don't be a grump. Sleeping is what night time's for. Little lump, go to sleep. I don't really want to go home. I'd like to stay here with my friends, but maybe it is the best idea. I'm sorry, Rue. That's okay, Lumpy. I understand. Come on, Sleuth! She gave it to us for you. <laughs> and she sent a note for you, too. Hmm. Big boy, and I'm so proud of you. I love you very much, and we'll see you in the morning. I'll put it right here where you can see it. I think we all could use some sleep. Joins in. 
I do believe that that is what honey would sound like if it could sing. The Heffalump Choir sure is good, all right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. In the choir. Oh, hello, Darby. I'm afraid you missed the music. I tried to take... And everybody gets to sing along. Are you sure you don't have to be a grown-up? No. All are welcome in Rabbit's grand and melodious choir. And, uh, now, um, are you a tenor? Nope. More of an Eeyore. Rabbit, Darby said I could be in your choir. Can I? Please, please, no! Um, <coughs> yes. <coughs> well, <coughs> everyone, take your places. As conductor, I'll... Oh, oh, I... What is that sound? Someone is singing off-key. Oh, we're supposed to be on keys? No, yeah, your turn. Is something wrong? Yes, that's the sound I heard. It doesn't even sound like music. Maybe Lumpy just needs a little more practice, Rabbit. Oh, yes. I find that practice makes perfect. <laughs> For me, anyhow. Ah. <laughs> uh... It depends on what you mean by, you know, good. What do you think, Rabbit? Uh, well, um, uh, maybe you'd better sit this song out. Where's Lumpy? You don't have to give up. What else can I do? You can ask for a little... Any time, any place. The Super Snakes are, are on, on the, the case. case. Sleeves, I'm glad you're here. Do you know how to help me sing better? Easy as peasy. You start at the very beginning. If... Ready? La 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 la. Oh, hep... I think. <laughs> Come on, Lumpy. I know the perfect... That was brilliant, Woodpecker. Can you really teach me to sing like that? I'll try. Not hard. Just watch. High notes are... High! Low notes... Mm. Thanks all the same, Super Sleeves. <laughs> oh, poor Lumpy. He seems to have given up for good. So instead of asking why Lumpy can't sound like us, maybe we could ask what kind of music Lumpy could sing. Well, there must be some kind of song made for us. Hello. <laughs> Come on! We'd better hurry before Rabbit's choir is ready to perform. Like your own hair, Lumperino. Oh, super Sleeves, what are you doing here? A rabbit asked us to bring you to choir practice. Oh, Darby, none of our practicing work before. What makes you think I'll be able to sing this time? Because this time we wrote a song just for you in your special sound. Well, uh, that's why he's a part of my choir. <laughs> this mystery is history. Anna one, Anna two, Anna... Would you like to sing with us in Rabbit's Choir? Dancing with Darby. Turtles throwing a dance party tonight for the whole one. It's gonna be... Did you say dance party? Oh, no. Does everybody have to dance? Well, I'm friends. Swing your partner round and round. Jump up high and touch the ground. Do see do in a one, two, three. I'm ready for my dance party. See y'all tonight. Time to slap my cat. <laughs> Let's go check the finder flag and see where we're needed. Take a look. Looks like somebody needs our help. Ah! Oh, this is terrible, horrible, no good. Very bad, very bad. Ah. Super sleuths, Turtle's dance party is tonight. Yeah. 
and what's so bad about that? And I'll show you what I learned in dance class. Dancing's lots of fun. It's kind of move to the music. Hands like this, like you're holding the moon. Now stand on one leg and jump to the other one. The jumping's my favorite part. I'm ready to dance at the party. <laughs> I can't believe how easy it was. Just watch this. Let's see. Jump to the moon, then twirl on one leg, and... But we don't have time. Turtle's dance party is tonight. Well, then what you need is something to help you rememberize the steps. Oh, what's that? It's genius is what it is. But these are dance steps, see? You follow one color of footsie prints at a time, and they shall learn some machine. Ooch, 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 ooch. I get it. You don't have to worry about remembering the steps, because you can see them. What a wonderful idea. Jump! Yeah. Not that way. Go left. The other left. What? If I can't see the dead steps, I guess I can't follow them either. <sighs> I don't think I'll ever be able to dance. But Porcupine, you were dancing. And I can dance with Turtle. But how are you going to tell me what to do while I'm dancing? Why, we shall whisper it in your ear, of course. <laughs> Although that might be difficult while you're... <laughs> It looks nice, but how does it work again? We'll talk into these cups. Loud and clear. Then it sounds to me like you're ready to dance. There you are, Porky. Hey, play some toe tapping and leg slapping, boys. By me. I wonder why Porcupine isn't doing what we're telling her. Oh, pretty. Oh. 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 We just need to think, think, think. Okay, we know Porcupine is really good at dancing when we give her instructions. Oh, well, yeah. But first, she's got to irrigate those instructions. Only I've never actually seen a square do much of anything. Not like that, Boo. I went to a square dance once with my Nana. Everyone takes a partner. Hey, get a pinochle party. Will you give me this dance, Porcupine? Well, I guess if the sluice didn't give up, I shouldn't give up either. Kick your heels with all your mind. Now spin in a circle like an orange. I can't think of anything that rhymes with orange. Me neither. Swing your partner low and high. Flap your arms like a dragonfly. We did it! I really danced! Thank you so much, Super Sleuths! Yeah, <laughs> you sure made a great partner, partner. Hmm. See? Terry! 